Thank you, uh, Shiva, for your uh, testimony. Next is Alexander Stein. And I love your background. It's uh, looking very comforting. Thank you very much, Senator. So let me tell you guys what's happening here. It, it sounds almost like a Joe Rogan uh, uh, podcast. Everybody here is anti-mask. The problem with the mask is that we're not wearing enough masks. I'll be, I'll be honest. Yes, I'm in the medical, I'm a medical professional. Uh, but the ramifications of taking off the mask, what it's going to do is it's going to make kids forget about the virus. And then they're not going to take the precautions, theoretically, maybe not get vaccinated because you're not going to see the virus as a threat. You don't understand the ma what's so important about the mask is it's more of a facial decoration. So people are participating and they're on the same team. And the problem is we're becoming so divided. But if we make mandates where it's a rule and everybody has to follow it, then people can't complain. Because like I said, I mean, listen, I get the Joe Rogan vibes, but Dr. Anthony Fauci is one of the greatest human beings of all, all of all mankind. I mean, you look about what he did with the AIDS epidemic. He handled that very well. You look about his testing on those beagles, those dogs. He learned a lot of information by testing on those dogs. So it's like Dr. Fauci is one of the smartest minds. He's way smarter than all these people out there that want to take off these masks. Look at Leanna Wynn, CNN uh, analyst. She knows the mask is the only way. Listen, I'm triple vaccinated and I've, I've gotten COVID three times and, and I was hospitalized. And, and after I got COVID, uh, I, I was, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know one of the side effects of COVID is impotence. And that's why we got to get people vaccinated early enough. But because of this, it caused my wife to, it, it, we, lost this, we lost the spark in our relationship that we once had. And now my marriage is ruined. And because of people out here today that are subverting these rules that are out here fighting against the tools that we have to beat the coronavirus, we can beat the coronavirus, but instead we're letting the coronavirus take my wife away from me. Now she's dating some guy named Gerardo Gutierrez. Now she's tagging pictures of him on her Facebook page. Okay. Thank you, Alexander. No, let me just finish. Can I just finish what I'm saying? Can I finish? Okay. Please, can I please well, finish my? Can I please finish about my point about the mask? Okay. Listen, I've, I've lost everything. Was, I've, please don't. Um, yeah. I think the the next person on our list is Melissa Egan. Uh, Thank you, Melissa. You're next. 